people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. In today's video, u has finally revealed their full wave of withered plushies. We've gotten a ton of updates for Pop Goes Evergreen, My Pop Goes, and Pop Goes Arcade. Docco has revealed the first look at his brand new Scott Cawthon interview, that and so much more we're gonna be talking about today. So if you're excited, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, we're getting so freaking close to 100,000 subscribers. And I know a lot of you guys watching these FNAF news videos are not actually subscribed, so come on, just help us get there. We're getting so close. But let's start off this video by talking about the brand new Tales from the Pizza Plex bind-up book exclusive to Walmart, because that collection is finally hitting store shelves. Inside, you've got all the stories from Haps as well as Somnophobia. And inside is a fold-out poster featuring the Moondrop hologram from the story Somnophobia. And also included is a never-before-published story titled Monster, with the description reading Liam and Drew's expose about their boss leaves them in for a rude awakening. You might recognize that description because this story was actually supposed to be included in two previous novels. I did read through the FNAF wiki summary of Monster and quite honestly I can see why they held it from the past two novels. I'd love to know book fans, what are your thoughts on this brand new tale story? And then lastly, for book news, we've gotten yet another preview for the fifth volume of the Fazbear Frights graphic novels. The first 20 pages of this collection have been released online, showing off the start of the story Jump for Tickets. Sea Bonnies and Fine Player 2 are also included in this novel, set to be released on the 3rd of September. Now moving on to some merchandise, Trends International has just revealed a brand new Hope Wanted 2 2025 calendar. In the previews included, we can can see Sun represents the month of January, Ballora representing February, and then on the back we can see all of the other months included a whole bunch of characters from Help Wanted 2 making an appearance. Tag yourself in the comments which character represents your birth month. And now moving on to Hex, they have finally revealed the release date of their upcoming Springtrap plushie. First releasing a teaser of the plushie recreating the I Am Still Here teaser for FNAF 3, and then the next day officially revealing that Hex Springtrap will be available on on July 12th, which by the time you're seeing this video, should be today. Hex also revealed an art piece featuring Springtrap as of recording. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be used for. I'd assume a t-shirt, but Springtrap fans, you've waited long enough. Are you going to be picking up the brand new Hex Springtrap plushie? And then also for Hex, Docco just showed off the prototype for the hand puppet plush of Bon Bon. As always, this is a prototype, so expect quite a few things to change. For the final product, I do think Docco wants to change the eyes to the classic button eyes that Hex has. But overall, even with this goofy looking prototype, this guy looks absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love just how unique Hex has gotten with some of their more recent FNAF merchandise. And an actual hand puppet of Bon Bon is just phenomenal. And then speaking of plushies, U2's finally revealed their full wave of withered FNAF plushies. Here we can see withered Foxy, withered Chica, withered Freddy, and for the first time, withered Bonnie. I personally think Bonnie is my favorite out of the bunch, I was very concerned to see what he was going to look like, but U2's knocked it out of the park. Also included in this FNAF collection releasing on July 16th, you've got just a whole bunch of daycare attendant pins, shaker pins featuring the sun and moon drop candies, hanging pins, bobble pins, honestly daycare attendant fans, you're eating really good. But if none of that interests you, U2's also held an AMA over on their subreddit, where they answered a whole bunch of questions regarding upcoming FNAF merchandise, saying that a Mexus plus quote, would be pretty fun. A Gregory plushie will likely be made in the future. When asked if we get any merchandise of the book characters, U2's was pretty hesitant because apparently some of the books just straight up aren't available to make U2's of. They did say they'd look into that, so hopefully in the future we can get some form of book representation in U2's merchandise. They did reveal, however, that a Mimic plushie will likely be ready for early next year. For next year, it seems like we can also expect their sister location wave. U2's has, quote, so many ideas for plushies of the toy animatronics. A, quote, cuter plush of the yellow rabbit from the FNAF movie is in the works. U2's would like to make merch of Spring Bonnie and Fredbear. Teasers for the FNAF 10th anniversary wave will likely be released the last week of this month. The Balloon Boy figure has been confirmed to be part of the second FNAF movie wave. And then Molten Freddy, Nightmare Figures, a Purple Guy plushie, and a non-Ruin Eclipse. They all received a maybe or possibly 
possibly response, which usually doesn't mean anything immediate, but it does let YouTubes know that fans want those characters. So I'd love to know what YouTubes products are you most excited for? What do you think about the brand new Withered plushies? And now let's move on to some Pop Goes news, starting off with Pop Goes Evergreen. At the end of April, Kane Carter did release a Game Jolt devlog sharing a whole bunch of updates on all the Pop Goes projects. For Pop Goes Evergreen, sharing some various updates in regards to the post-night environment. I'm not going to read out the full devlog, I will leave it linked down below, and of course it's going to be up on the screen so feel free to pause the video. Also revealing that on the main menu when starting a brand new night, a short intro animation for a newly introduced character for that night will play. And then for Evergreen updates outside of that April devlog, we got a Take Your Pick teaser, showing off what appears to be some guitar picks featuring the classic FNAF 2 characters. We got a 4K wallpaper featuring Blake the Badger. He's holding his Weaselware phone telling us game over, honestly a really sick graphic. The Celebrate poster featuring Popko, Saffron, and Sarah up on the show stage was also released. This was a part of the 8th anniversary Popko celebration. Something else revealed for the 8th anniversary was this Cam 2 teaser. Brightening up the image, you can see Popko's the Weasel inside of the brand new prize room. And if you look closely, you can spot the creatures. But moving on now to My Pop Goes, another fanverse title set to be released on Steam August 1st. A free version of the title was released last year, however, the premium Steam edition includes a whole bunch of brand new features and game modes, one of which you've been seeing right now, that is of course a brand new fishing mini game, which looks absolutely adorable, look at Pop Goes Go, with Kane also showing off a Steam achievement, which is most likely for that fishing mini game. Like I said, the full premium edition of My Pop Goes releases on August the 1st. I'll leave that link down below. You can go wishlist it right now. And lastly, for Pop Goes, let's talk about Pop Goes Arcade Fighting Chance. This is a free major content update for Pop Goes Arcade that is set to be released, quote, fairly soon, with Kane releasing a gigantic showcase video on his YouTube channel, which I will leave linked down below. It goes very in-depth with all of the brand new mechanics that will, quote, improve the general experience massively with brand new features and tweaks. So I'd highly recommend checking out that showcase video after this video, of course, if you want a deep dive on all of the brand new Pop Goes Arcade content coming pretty soon. Moving on now to Funko Fusion, it has not been too long since we got our first gameplay look at the FNAF level, featuring the Freddy Fazbear's pizza location, some characters of the main cast, as well as playable Freddy Fazbear. Well, the other day, we got this brand new teaser of Chica, as well as Megan, vibing out, girl bossing it up at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. In the background, we can see some graffiti, spelling out celebrate, some drawings of the FNAF characters, as well as what'll most likely be some gameplay mechanics in the form of cameras, as well as a power capsule. Funko Fusion is set to be released on the 13th of September. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on FNAF X Funko Fusion so far. Moving on now, let's talk about Lewis Dockos Games Dawkins. Because you may have seen, he's working on his very own FNAF fan game titled Fazbear 64. Showing off this teaser of the characters, you've got Foxy, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, as well as Helpy, and don't forget about the paper plates there in the back. With this fan game described as an in-universe Nintendo 64 title developed by Fazbear Entertainment, with a spirit possessing the machine in a now abandoned Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. Docco is serving as director. Squeaks to Corgay, who you may know as the mastermind behind Shipwreck 64, is also working on the title. All the reactions I've seen so far have been super positive. That's not all for Docco, however, because these characters are also being reused for season 3 of the FNAF show. If you don't know, the FNAF show is an interview series hosted by Docco, with various voice actors and developers and other contributors to the FNAF franchise. With Docco showing off a poster as well as the intro for the new season, and also revealing that the season will be released in September. So I'd love to know, who do you want to see Daco interview for the new season of the FNAF show? I think the big obvious answer is actors in the FNAF movie, and it seems like Daco has the same mindset, with him tweeting to Matthew Lillard, who plays William Afton, Hello, can I interview for the FNAF show later this year? And actually, speaking of Daco interviewing people, 
We've got a brand new Scott Cawthon interview coming up, people. In case you forgot for FNAF's 10th anniversary coming up in August, one of the projects we're getting released is a brand new interview with Scott hosted by Docco on the 5th of August. It has been six years since Docco's last interview with Scott, so of course there's a lot to talk about. We do know thanks to Docco on a previous charity stream, the interview has already been recorded. And actually today Docco showed off our very first look at the new interview showing off the new Scott Cawthon model. Model. This model was done by Games Production, who also did the model for the last Scott Cawthon interview, so good to have them back. I'd love to know if, given the chance, what one question would you ask Scott Cawthon about FNAF? And actually, speaking of FNAF's 10th anniversary, another reveal we're supposed to get is something from Steel Wool Studios. That is supposed to take place on August the 4th, actually the day before Docco's interview with Scott, and we might have actually just found out what that is. With Steel Wool tweeting out a photo of Helpy, with the Caption, where has Helpy been lately and why does it matter? Find out soon. And then a few interesting hashtags. The first two, FNAF and where's Helpy, obviously make sense. But if you take the first letter of the remaining hashtags, it actually spells out Seattle. And what's happening in Seattle this year? Well, none other than PAX West, which Steel Wool was at last year, where they had not only a demo of FNAF Help Wanted 2, they also had real life animatronics of Eclipse and Baby. And if you you go on the official PAX West website, Steel Wool Studios is listed as one of the special guests. So it seems likely that whatever announcement we're getting on the 4th of August is going to correspond to whatever they're planning for PAX West. Like I said, last year they had a demo of Help Wanted 2 and a few real life props made by Dregler Sauce. Sauce has been cryptically tweeting out that he's working on projects under an NDA. And then I'd also assume that we'll have a brand new demo available at their booth with whatever new game they're working on, whether it be Carnival or Fall Fest, or that Help Wanted 2 DLC. Safe to say we should be getting more info very soon on whatever Steel Wool's been cooking up. But that is going to do it for today's FNAF News video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.